Hi, I'm Craig Taylor and as always a huge thank you for taking time out of your day to join me here on my YouTube channel The Bushcraft Padawan. Here I am stood next to a big tree. Here I am leaning against a bigger tree. Here I am sat in front of a much smaller tree. I know this one, I know this one. It's the, it's the spiky leaf tree, right? Hopefully you've got the point that I'm trying to make by now. My tree and plant identification is absolutely atrocious. I can basically positively identify two types of trees. A Christmas tree, as long as it's got a fairy on top and presents underneath it, and a family tree. Beyond that, I am absolutely hopeless, and that extends to plant identification as well. You may think, well, why does this matter, Craig? Well, it matters because if I'm wanting to make the most of my time outdoors, then I want to make sure that I'm able to identify the resources quickly, safely, that will help me make the most of my time outdoors. So rather than try and identify or wrongly identify or just pick any old wood to make a fire, maybe I want to be looking at a wood that has lots of resin in it, that burns very quickly, that gets a flame very quickly to get my fire started. If I'm looking at cooking on that fire, maybe I want to be looking for some wood that actually burns hot and burns for a long time to give me a good build up of embers and that kind of analogy that kind of underpinning ethos and principle of being able to identify the resources that are around you to make the most of, of those resources is something that I'm keen to improve upon because like I said I'm absolutely hopeless now I've already gone some way towards trying to remedy that I've bought myself some books on, on trees and foraging outdoors one on wildflowers was bought this as a Christmas as a birthday present by my in-laws last summer and they're, they're good books they're okay books but if I'm really honest there's something of information overload there's lots of stuff in there and I don't know what stuff I need to know and what stuff is bloody pointless to me it's hopeless to me I don't need to know that I don't know that because they're not books about tree and plant identification for bushcraft they're tree and plant identification books. I get that. They serve the purpose that they were made for, not the purpose that I'm looking for. I've also downloaded a few apps. There's some great apps out there. I'll link to them down below in the, uh, in the video description. There's some good apps out there and they're, they're quite cleverly done. They enable you to kind of go through a, a branching questioning process and hopefully, fingers crossed, at the end of it, end up with the right tree identified. But even after using those resources, I usually fall into one of three categories when I leave. I either haven't identified it, I haven't got a clue what I've been looking at, or I've managed to find a tree or plant that isn't in any of those, which seems a bit of a push of the imagination. In other words, I haven't identified it correctly. Or I walk away 50-50 in my mind. I think I've identified it. It seems to be that tree. But if I was to put money on it, I probably wouldn't. I'm not 100% confident. I'm not even close to 100% confident. I, I do enough to kind of give me a warm, fuzzy feeling inside that I've identified it. But I'm not convinced. So I've decided to do something about this. And what I've done is I've enrolled on a 12-month online programme that's run by Paul Kirtley over at Frontier Bushcraft. And of course, I'll be linking to them up here or down below. I'll be, um, and I'm undertaking this 12 month programme. There are several things that's attracted me to it. One, Paul's running it, running it, and I know that Paul knows his stuff. Secondly, it takes place over a year. So the benefit of that is that we can keep looking at the same species, but look at them at different stages of their, of their lifespan over the course of 12 months. We're not just looking at them when they're perhaps in prime identification condition, maybe with their flowers or their leaves or in full bloom. We're also looking at them when they're in less than a prime um, time to, to do that, maybe in the, in the depths of winter or autumn or spring. So that's attracted me to doing this programme. 
the other thing that's attracted me to it is it's an online program and for those of you that don't know what my day job is my day job is to help people build online courses and online programs my job is to help people individuals businesses organizations understand how technology can develop their people can grow their people can help their people get better at their jobs so it's a bit of a busman's holiday for me this course you know i'm excited about it for two reasons one i'm going to be learning from somebody who really knows their stuff about how to identify the trees and plants that i need for bush crafting purposes and not the other stuff so that's that's the primary goal but of course the, 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 the work nerd in me is quite excited to see what Paul's done, what platform he's using, how he's going to run his webinars, how the Facebook group and the Instagram group will, will all run in parallel. Um, on the surface of it, as somebody who does this for a living, he's done an incredibly, an incredibly good job of putting this program together and all the other parts of the program, not just the main online course part, but all the other tools that he's using and weaving together. I've got to say, he's done better than some of the people that, that work in learning and development as a profession and as a living. So, so well done, Paul. It's looking very good at this point uh, and I'm sure it will only look better as the course grows. My intention is to work through this program and to post a video like this probably each month of the year to let you know what my key takeaway has been, what I've learned from it and hopefully you'll start see me standing in front of some trees with a slightly less confused and dazed look on my face than I had at the beginning of this video. So why not subscribe to this channel, reach over there and click on that subscribe button so you don't miss any of these updates. If you like what I've said, if it's resonated with you, if you kind of fall into this category that I'm in, why not click that like button and why not let me know in the comments below what your tree and plant identification level of knowledge is like. Let me know how you perhaps go about developing yourself in this area or indeed whether it's actually something that perhaps you've identified as an area of development yourself for the future. As always a big thank you for taking some time out of your day and joining me here in the woods sat in front of a bramble tree. Thanks for watching.